How you doing today? This is Zach Allen here with another YouTube video. And no, I have not hurt myself. This is actually going to help us with the golf swing today. So check out what I got here standing right next to me, right? I've got my grandmother's walker. And um, this is going to help us figure out exactly what the lower body needs to be doing in the golf swing. And just in general, how we can really keep our head steady by having a more active, more involved lower body. Um, something that I see so much with many students that I work with, I see a lot of the activity in the upper body. And I see things really moving, moving back, moving forward to create power. They're not actually able to separate and get the lower body involved enough. That's one of the biggest secrets to being able to keep your head still is to be able to be more active down below. But before we get started, if you guys like my videos, feel free to subscribe or like, but also down below, I have an email list with emails that go out every week with different tips to help your game. Feel free to sign up for that also. So, you know, um, let's get into exactly what the lower body's doing. When you watch a good player swing and you see how quiet their head is, and they're generating all this power and force, okay? It's not because they're not active in other places. Their lower body's very active. That's part of why I have the walker here today. We're gonna kind of discuss and show exactly what this needs to be doing down below so that you can keep this up here nice and quiet. Just in, in a way to think about it, right? Our eyes and head need to coordinate seeing the ball. That's kind of the command center, but the power you know, or the infantry unit that's really doing all the work, right? That's, that's generating all the horsepower is coming out of the ground and out of our legs. Okay, so there's three things that our legs do in the golf swing, right? Or, or three things that our lower body and legs do. So number one is it shifts from side to side, right? There is some lateral movement and that's really important because a lot of times people think that there's a, a pole running right up my body and we just turn and turn and that would be a perfect golf swing or turning in a barrel. There's not. We actually want to have some side to side motion. Generates a lot, a lot of lateral force from foot to foot. Okay. Number two is going to be the rotational motion, right? That's the motion going around and back through, which usually everybody knows about, right? The last one is probably the, the most elusive, but it's this vertical component. This pushing up off the ground, our body getting heavier, pushing out that really generates a lot of force so you know what that looks like here if i kind of demonstrate with this little rubber band you can see here that my pelvis as i start to really actively use my lower body it starts to rise up on the backswing so as i go up what it does that gets the trail side of my pelvis higher it gets the downswing easier for me to put force down into the ground and to push back up and off. That's when you really see somebody that's using their lower body correctly and how they're getting more power. These are a the lot of things that they're doing. They're tapping into all three power sources simultaneously, okay? The lateral, the rotation, and, and, and also the vertical, okay? They're putting those all together with good timing and they're really tapping into all the power that comes out of the ground. So as I'm standing in this walker, I want you to kind of notice, right? I'm right up here by the edges. One of the first things that happens in my lower body is it starts to shift to the right. So that's the very first movement. From there, it starts to rotate. And then lastly, we get this up or this extension to get the arms up to the top of the backswing. Okay, so shift, turn, extend up, shift, press down, push back up on this side. So you can see how active my pelvis is here. And that's kind of get us to the drill that I want to get you guys working on here. So you can take a longer club like a driver. And what I want you to do here at first is just put your hands out in front of it. So this is going to kind of isolate my upper body, right? So my shoulders, my head, they're not going to move very much. And I'm going to really move from down below. And what I would suggest just to start is just move from side to side, just kind of stepping right, left, right, left, right, left, back and forth. And then start to just slowly turn your abs and your hips back and forth and just kind of explore that range of motion down there and you notice as I'm doing this my head is staying pretty still and I've got a pretty large range of motion both both laterally and rotationally 
with some extension. I can feel my right side getting higher as I pull back. And then it transitions and pushes up on this side. So you can see how hard I'm really pushing off the ground here in order to release the golf club when I come through. So that's huge. You know, there's so many of you out here that complain, you know, I'm not using my lower body. I know I'm missing something. I can feel I'm swinging with mostly my arms and shoulders. This is part of how you're going to connect your brain with your lower body and your brain with the ground in order to start learning how to push off the ground to use our lower body. I always thought that if somebody was maybe a belly dancer, I've never taught a belly dancer, but I would have thought that that person would be a really good golfer just because they already have that mind body connection and they already know how to move and initiate with their lower body. But for most of us that have never done that, or we're sitting in a desk a lot, driving a lot, this gets very disconnected. Okay. It gets very shut off. So this drill is fantastic in order to kind of liven that up. You'll feel the lateral, you'll feel the rotational, and then you'll also feel the vertical, the down, and then the vertical back up. So I'm feeling all that happen. And then guess what? My head is still staying pretty steady as I'm doing all this. You can see to the point where I'm actually banging into the sides of this walker. So once you've done that a number of times, I would walk out onto the driving range, right? And you know, you could warm that up a little bit there, but then just start to get that same sensation of feeling, feeling things come out of the ground and out of your hips more, right? No more swinging. It's very easy to do because we hold the club with our hands and arms. No more of this, right? What ends up happening is many people, they're moving their upper body too much to try to get power, right? Their head's moving all over the place. They're not going to make solid contact. And then someone tells them to keep their head still. Then they end up with this. So now their head is still, but the lower body is not active. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys too, so definitely drop a comment with any questions or concerns. But if you really want to get a lot of my content that's not on YouTube, I have an email list. All you need to do is click the link below, put your email in, and you'll be getting all this content for free that nobody else gets on YouTube. Lessons from me that come out almost every other day. I'll talk to you soon.